Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I've decided to do this law video in full jacks of Son of Anarchy attire. Just for kicks and grit, just to drive them even more crazy, to drive my enemies even more crazy. Now this segment of the law interview and the law stuff, before I talk about other things, I have to talk about the Courier Journal and Cincinnati Inquirer's obsession with yours truly. They did a story about my response to the Kentucky Bar Association's contempt motion, which by the way, I have absolutely nothing to worry about. And I've actually emailing that response out to everybody this morning on the email list. But ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I crack up their obsession with me. And then these people that say things that have no idea about anything relative to me. And the comments on the Inquirer's Facebook page are a hoot, although my team definitely went to work on them. But uh, this guy, Tom Whalen, why report one word what this clown says? He's irrelevant. I check him out, total lib. Uh, this is great. Greg Burkett, he's a joke. He's failed at everything he done. He wants to be a lawyer, but he screwed that up big time. <laughs> this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Uh, let's go to him. Total liberal, total lib from Cincinnati. I just love doing this to call him all out. Uh, by the way, thank you, Ivan Pennington. But by the way, this is, this is fun. Oh, Barb Walden maybe. Check these Facebook pages. Oh, this is my favorite, Dean Mead. Dean Mead lives in Dallas, head of credit reporting, in a relationship with Maxwell Campus. He was the most nasty. Little Dean getting there in his Facebook page. <laughs> uh, picture sums him up. What, you know that picture they used? Do you know what that was? That was me winning the Nicole Howe teacher case. And that was me doing my thing in the courtroom, pointing out how stupid the prosecution was. So here's a guy making fun of the pose in the courtroom that I use, which was a case I won, Dino boy. I'm gonna continue. By the way, I like doing this, not because they're relevant, but this is the way Trump does it, it's the way I do it. You call these, well they use the, they use the phrase, uh, well I don't wanna use that phrase, by the way, how does, how does Brian Boyer, who calls me an A-clown, how does he stay on Facebook with not getting suspended? How does, he, how does, how does that happen? <laughs> it cracks me up. Now, this is the message that is going out. By the way, I have done absolutely nothing wrong. The Kentucky Bar Association can kiss my white fanny, okay? They can. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Now, this is, I don't like to read stuff, but I'm gonna read this. This is my message to Bulldog Nation, all the Durrani clients, all of the Vax clients, all the other clients, the whole world, okay? And you wonder why they don't like me, but I'm gonna go through this. Whether you are a Durrani victim or a worker upset about the vaccine mandate or anyone else, I have always chosen to fight back against the legal system who for 10 years and more have attempted and still attempt to take me out so I, I can't fight for you and fight Goliath on whatever front. It drives them insane that I am mentally, physically, and financially strong enough to stand up to them, outsmart them, and beat them. While I fight for the people, the system fights me. This is not some unrealized paranoia on my part. Ask yourself, based upon all those we battle, why would the legal system be after me? It's unfortunate on top of fighting the largest employers and largest law firms, we must fight the system. However, however after 10 years, we are used to it. The Enquirer, who won't cover the Durrani cause or COVID billing fraud, but they'll cover me. Remember, the hospitals are their second biggest advertisers after the car folks. It's comical how our enemies attempt to make me the bad guy. I want to stress, we fight the battle. While we fight the battles, I have nothing to worry about. You will never lose me on your team, and all it does is embolden me more. It's so bad. Remember who the American Communist 10 are, academia. 
It is so bad that the tri-state law schools won't send us resumes of law graduates for jobs. That's a fact. I assume everybody who's a law student, a recent law school graduate, and Chase Law School and UC Law School has a job because they won't send us a resume. It gets even better. The tri-state colleges, NKU, UC, won't send me English and journalism graduates to help write my books and for the media company. They, they won't send one, now just imagine, all, I'm assuming that all these English majors and all of these journalism majors have jobs. And none of them would want to be a part author of a, of a book, a published author. I guess none of them would like to work in a very awesome environment for doing journalism. No, they all got jobs. Now, if you care to read it, I attach my response to the Kentucky Supreme Court motion. I think you will find it strong and entertaining in my typical bold fashion. I send it only for those who wonder. A lot of you have already said, Bulldog, we get it. You don't need to explain it. You know, let it go. These evil people make an issue with some of the silliest things. You can't make this up. Jane Herrick, pickle face herself from the bar, complained that Loretta L Little, who is a staff person in her office, notarizes things. She's a damn notary! They make a big issue that Dominic Romeo, who, by the way, is a rising super lawyer, uh, left the office and came back to the office, and why he left still did some work for us. So what? You can't make this up. When we argued the Vax case first hearing, Mark Guilfoyle, the buffoon that he is, actually said to Judge Bunny, Dominic Romeo is not on their website. What? So what? So if Dominic Romeo is not on our website, that means he doesn't work for us? Sorry, the website wasn't updated. <laughs> okay, they also complain about my media shows. Imagine that. I'm going to look in the camera. Jane, you are a buffoon. Jane Herrick, you are a buffoon. And guess what, Jane? Just like I said in my brief, you can't stop what I do. You can't. You're never going to stop. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, Janie. There ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Because I'm allowed to do it. I have rights. This is America, Jane. I'm allowed to work in a law office, even if I don't have my law license, Jane. Guess what, Jane? I'm allowed to do a show and talk about it. I am your worst nightmare. You know why, Jane? The Kentucky Supreme Court, Andrew Wolfson, the Courier Journal, and all of them, I'm running for governor of Kentucky. And you watch. They'll mock that too. And you watch to see what happens out there in the state of Kentucky when people find out what I stand for. Trump, the Constitution, God, capitalism, and I'm going to run on an anti-legal system. Think about all of the people out there, all of you that have had a very terrible experience with a jack wagon lawyer, a jack wagon judge, and a jack wagon court system. Well, guess what? I'm your guy. Because for the first time in this state's history, you got somebody who is not only gonna speak out about it, he's running for governor on the platform. Oh, it's gonna be so damn good. And guess what, Janie? You can't stop me from running for governor. Oh, it's going to be fun. And guess what, Janie? It's real. It's happening. Uh, where did I leave off? I believe the average Joe and Janes are fed up. People like you get it. I plan on always being a voice for you, although I'll usually be in a suit and not my jacks from Son of Anarchy attire. The purpose of this email is to let you know I will continue to fight for you. And as you know, as a workaholic, I'll always be involved in fighting your battle at Dieter's Law, including financing the causes. Fighting for the little guy against abuse of power is my passion and life calling. No need to respond. I simply felt it necessary to be very transparent as always and reassure you that our work, my work, continues without concern. Never worry about me doing some crime or dastardly deed which would offend you or get me into some real trouble. I never have and I never will. Remember, I'm a sinner, not a saint, okay? I'm not a good boy, I'm a bad boy. But I do not commit crimes and I will never and I never have done something that would cause you to hate me or loathe me, ever. 
I'm proud of what I do, and I'm honored to fight for you. Now, my last little gig, little stick at all the enemies and all the haters. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, in the last three months, we have c come into Dieter's Law some of the biggest cases you have ever seen. We're talking about million dollar cases. We're talking about hundred million dollar cases. So why all of them attack me, all of you who get it, just keep sending Dieter's Law work. And you know what? I'm allowed to promote Dieter's Law all I want. You all know what my role is. <laughs> they can't stop me from this role. It drives them crazy. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for all your love and support. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day.